Last week I uploaded a video called Mr. Beast Needs to be Cancelled. This was met with a lot of angry comments and a lot of dislikes. 36 dislikes. But in the comments I clarified, if you know someone has art showing a minor, which is a literal child, someone beneath the age of 16, 15, 14, in a sexual manner and you still associate with them, you are condoning pedophilia because you're not saying anything about it, right? Your silence is a part of the problem in that scenario. You can't just walk by someone that does something terrible that is literally illegal and say, oh well, to each their own. I'm minding my own business. Because that's not how it works, especially if you're claiming to be friends with this person. Are you in league with someone who does something horrible? Well, then you are guilty by association. Some people made the argument that it was Chris's fault and not Mr. Beast's fault. But that's a really weak argument. Let me put it like this. Imagine if someone went to rob your house and your neighbor saw it happening and they didn't call the police. Then, well, yes, they didn't, they didn't rob your house, your neighbors didn't rob your house, but they didn't do anything about it either. And thus, they are liable. Also, someone even said that just because you see a poster doesn't mean you know where it's from. It's Chris who did it. Don't involve Jimmy. He did nothing wrong. Well, that's not entirely true, is it? You don't need to know where something is coming from to see that it's wrong. If I have a picture of a naked child on my wall, right, just a blend picture of a naked child, then that's all the information you need. You don't need any other information because that is illegal. You can't have that sort of content. Someone also made the argument that Chris left and dragging Mr. Beast into this is childish. Because he had nothing to do with it. It happened in servers that he associated with as well, on Discord. These things, they happened. And they happened a lot. There's evidence from people inside that has recently been revealed in some great videos that I'll link in the description about how bad everything is with Mr. Beast. It's not just the pedophilia, it's the illegal lotteries, it's the constant lying to the audience, it's manipulation tactics. Mr. Beast is over. It's done. Stop trying to defend someone who's literally breaking the law over and over again and leaving people in bad situations. Because another fair point that uh, a YouTuber made before called Danny Gonzalez was that when Mr. Beast gives away cars, for example, you still need to do the tax yourself. This means that if someone gives you a car, right, you need to pay for the tax for that car. So if you're poor and you don't have a car, then say goodbye bye car, because you can't afford a tax for it. I kept writing the same comment over and over again, basically copy pasting it. But maybe I wouldn't have to say the same comment over and over again if you didn't come up with the same bullshit excuses all the time. Look, it's pretty simple. Don't have naked pictures of children, real or otherwise, on your wall. Don't do illegal lotteries. Don't lie to your audience over and over again. It's not that hard. I don't know why everyone seems to struggle with this concept, but apparently they do. Now, I say everyone, but that's a little bit of a lie. It's just mostly that people have caught up now. And you know what? I'd ha I hate that. I hate that people remain ignorant until something happens to be there. There's even people who came to the video and they literally said they didn't even watch it. And they just disliked and defended Mr. Beast. Why would you do that? Why would you defend someone before watching the accusations. That's idolatry. You're literally idolizing someone who might end up doing terrible things. This is literally, and I'm not comparing Mr. Beast to Hitler here, but this is literally how Hitler rose to power. It's just to say that someone can do ter terrible things and apparently still get away with it because you assholes just fucking watch and defend the fucker without looking into the allegations. Now listen. I get it, right? You don't like seeing your favorite creators getting uh, exposed for doing terrible things. But imagine this. Imagine if one of these victims was your child. Imagine if we took Mr. Beast out of the equation. What if someone talked to your child or had pictures of your child on the wall drawn in a naked sexual manner? Would you be okay with that? Because if you are, I'm about to call CPS on your ass. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you like talking about random things.
which I'll be doing more on this channel. I've tried to do other formats before on this channel, and I kind of uh, trickled down my music into my music channel now. So I'm just going to use this channel to just talk about whatever I want to talk about when I want to talk about it. So if you like to hear a random old guy talk, subscribe.